The heavyweight boxing clash between Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk was rescheduled for May 18th at the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, and the Gypsy King is as confident as ever in his abilities to triumph over the Ukrainian. Tyson Fury recently spoke to the stomping ground and informed that he was feeling good after the sparring accident, and since he had already camped for three months before the Usyk fight was postponed, the Gypsy King was glad he was in good shape. Fury stated, It's been four weeks and a couple of days ago now, so I've rested, recovered, and I'm ready to go back to camping next week. In the game, happens. Worse of things happened I've seen. It won't be the first time and it won't be the last time a fight been cancelled with an injury. At first I was a little bit off because it didn't look like it was going to happen. We didn't have a date. But as soon as we got the date two days later, it was fantastic. Yeah, everything's good. This injury was caused by Fury's Croatian sparring partner Agron Smakici. Agron recently detailed the incident and told how the injury occurred. Nothing special happened. We had a good sparring session all day before that. It's just he put some fire with some bad talking and some dirt moves. When my head was down, he did some dirty tricks, and that made the fire, the heat going on. And then I gave 100% of me, and the injury happened, unfortunately. He said some things, but it's not so much what he said. He put my head down. Even if I put his head many times down because I have good wrestling skills, he put my head down one time, and he was doing like bad things with my head, if you know what I mean. There has been some controversy as to whether the blow which cut Fury was actually an elbow. However, Smakitsi is sure this is not the case. He stated, I, I am 100% sure it was my first. There's a difference between an elbow and gloves with a fist. You would feel the elbow. It's like a hammer. Maybe it slipped because he was pulling my head forwards. Maybe it slipped to the elbow, but it wasn't on purpose. However, George Groves is unsure about the cut and thinks it might have been done intentionally to delay the Fury Usyk fight. Uh, I've got no dog in the fight, so I, I don't care, but uh, if people said to me that it's impossible that he cut himself, I'd say, well, hold on, it's not impossible for him to cut himself. Of course it's possible. Um, is it is it logical? It depends. You have to look, you know. But you know, would I would I state state with conviction that it was uh, uh, genuine or not? Of course not. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know. I wasn't there. But um, it's like it's 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 a, it's, it's a fun thing for it's boxing fans to be up for debate. Uh, but you know, for for people I mean, just for fans maybe or gen the general public, you know, I think that's barbaric and bizarre and they couldn't compute you like injuring yourself um, to get out of a fight because they just literally can't cope with the blood it's like it's actually that's the easiest the most simplest uh, way to you know push back a fight is to, is to cut yourself these allegations are not sitting well with Tyson Fury's father, John Fury, as he tells the haters to shut up and stop making up nonsense. He recently got furious and told fans to wait for the fight to happen. I seen the shape Tyson was in. He was in for it, Usyk. And all those people who's riding Usyk's pecker, thinking he's going to do the job, well, let me tell you that he can't do the job. He can't. Because Tyson was tunnel vision. On all these haters, because he's an hate campaign going at the minute for the Furies. Oh, do we give a toss? No, we don't. Accidents happen. The man said what happened, the sparring partner. Why don't you just let the men get on with it on the 18th of May instead of talking all crap? Is that going to. Talking rubbish and all his accusations and shit talk, is that going to change anything? Not changing, no. So shut it, keep it buttoned, and let them fight on the 18th of May. On then it'll be decided. Until then, shut your mouth up. Talking crap. Cut his own eye. Cheers. There's nothing out of my nutsack could do anything like that. Nothing. You could saw the leg off and they're still fight. Talking about the cut, Tyson is super confident as he said that even if the cut opens during the fight, it's no big deal. When it comes to the preparation for the fight... It's already healed now, actually. Okay. Yeah, a cut, does, a cut takes about eight weeks to heal up, so I had 15 weeks from cut to fight day, so yeah, plenty of time. I'm not worried about the cut. If the cut opens in the fight, fuck it. So what? I've had plenty of cuts before. The Gypsy King believes he only requires four to five weeks to train for a fight. Fury stated, I don't train this far out. Come on, who do you think you're talking to? I'm a professional athlete. I train four or five weeks for these fights. Please, yeah. Like I'd train 12 weeks for Wilder and everybody else. Four. Five weeks. How much training does a man need? Three or four weeks of sparring. One week resting. Done. However, Anthony Joshua's trainer, Ben Davison, believes that Tyson has to work hard and accurately in order to have his size advantage over Usyk. Ben stated, Yeah, it's massive. An unbelievable fight. In terms of their character, it's so mad as they're so opposite yet so similar. I'm intrigued even when it comes to fight week regarding what both fighters have to say and whether that'll show us anything about how each fighter might approach the fight. 
A lot of people say Tyson's size, but it's all about whether Tyson is able to impose his size. If he goes about the fight the wrong way, it could be difficult for him to capitalize on his size. I think the misconception with Usyk is that he's some backfoot fighter who runs around the ring when he's actually very aggressive. When asked about giving a prediction for his fight against Usyk, Fury is sure that he'll take out Usyk within seven rounds. Fury stated, He's Usyk only had five fights at heavyweight, and to be honest, I haven't been that impressed. Is he good enough to beat the Gypsy King? I don't think so, but good luck to him. If he is, he is. If he is, I'll shake his hand. But I'll take him out inside seven rounds. But Vitaly Klitschko believes that beating Usyk will not be easy. He stated, Everybody expects a very dramatic, interesting fight, but nobody in the world can predict the decision of this fight. It's heavyweight division. Every punch makes a decision. And that's why it will be the biggest mistake to say who will be the winner. Yes, of course I keep my fingers crossed for Usyk. I hope Usyk will be the winner in this fight and bring the WBC belt back to Ukraine. But let's see. Liam Davies hopes that Fury wins the fight, but eventually picks Usyk to come out on top. Who do you think wins that? Ah, I hope um, Fury. Uh, you always want the Brits to win, don't you? you got to back your own, but I think it's a tougher task than people are making out, I think. Yeah. There's certain people in this in this world that are phenomenal at what they do, and uh, I look at Usyk as one of them people, so... Uh, Call it. I want Fury to win, but if I had to pick, I'd pick Usyk. Tyson's former opponent, Francis Ngannou, predicts for Tyson to win so he can have a rematch with him. Francis stated, If I'm objective, I will say Tyson Fury. Speaking from myself, I will still say Tyson Fury. Obviously, I'm not counting Usyk out. I know he can win this fight. He has a very good chance, maybe even. But I still go for Tyson, and I still want him to win to see him for that rematch. Otto Wallen also believes that Fury will probably win the clash, but thinks the fight will be amazing and competitive. I think it's gonna be interesting. And I gotta say, I have even more respect for Usyk now after I've been here with Joshua, after seeing what he did with Joshua and beat him twice. And um, I, I, I mean, I think it's gonna be a really good fight. I always said that Fury is probably gonna win, and I, I think I still feel that way. But I think it's gonna be a really good fight, and it's gonna be interesting. When asked about a potential rematch clause during the Stomping Ground interview, Fury refused to give a clear answer. He stated, Listen, I only take one fight at a time. I could get brain damage and die in the first Usyk fight, so you can't look past any fights. I might get run over by a train, who knows, by that time, but one fight at a time. You see how you feel afterwards. If you feel fit and ready and healthy and injury-free, then you go again. If not, call it quits. However, Anthony Joshua believes that Fury vs. Usyk might not even happen. Joshua stated, I'm not too worried about Fury and Usyk, who knows if they'll even get in the ring. So what do you think about Tyson Fury making bold claims for his fight against Oleksandr Usyk? Do let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now. 